you'll see the effectiveness of this full crit hidden mechanic guard chomp in action. We get the first takedown right here onto the Mammoth Swine, a little bit of a steal, no biggie, then the Dragon Claw crit for 1000 onto the Gengar and we follow up with a double crit onto the other two enemies with our basic attack. Absolutely beautiful guys. Yo, you're watching Shurko, we're back with some more Pokemon Unite and in this video we will be checking out the Garchomp once again and this time I'm not only just gonna show you a crazy hidden mechanic crit build on Garchomp that actually works surprisingly well and will definitely surprise you by how much damage we can actually deal with this in the late game but I will also show you the new skin because I was lucky for once in these stupid little games guys and I was able to snag away that detective Garchomp skin in that little energy lottery thing. So yeah, super nice skin man. It already has some effects um, even though it's not wearing a hat as a gibble, very unfortunately that would have been super cute but it already has some effects and as you can see we play super aggressive early game with that gibble lots of people underestimate that early game damage that you actually bring to the table if your passive is fully charged and that is super important of course to always keep those stacks running on that passive but hey before we get into the build guys make sure to subscribe ring the notification bell so you don't miss any further pokemon unite content on this channel now again you have some little effects as well back to the skin talk uh, when you're running to the lane the trail while you're being sped up has some um what is it called the magnifying glasses running behind you and whenever you get a takedown onto an enemy pokemon there will be a little bit of an exclamation mark popping up. So I noticed these two, let me know if there's even more small effects, small easter eggs for this skin, but I'm so glad I got this. But yeah, anyway, let's talk about that build, right? So if we run this full dragon type uh, guard chomp, so no ground moves, just the dragon moves. So we take dragon rush and the dragon claw. Both of these moves can actually crit that is not written i believe in the moves uh, there was someone on reddit who posted a chart he tested every single move in the entire game uh, whether it can crit and he found out that the dragon claw and the dragon rush both are able to crit so we're running the uh, scope lens of course we're running a muscle band synergizes just beautifully with that attack speed passive that we have and we are also running that Razor Claw. So full crit setup and it is absolutely hilarious, guys. It deals so much damage. We have the slow from the Razor Claw as well, slowing the enemies down and it is just beautiful, let me tell you. So again, we are able to hit level six super quickly here, as you saw. Um, while I was talking in the background, the gameplay, master gameplay, by the way, yes, this build is not crazy enough. To not be picked in a master game okay it is pretty crazy it's not going to be the best build it's not going to be the um, most successful most highest win rate build but it is not crazy enough and by crazy i mean trash that um we can't pick it in a ranked game so yeah as you saw we had a super good early game the squirtle was playing so well uh, in that lane so we were just able to get a pretty decent advantage and whenever that happens man it is just beautiful as a guard chomp because you're actually going to be pretty useful even at this stage usually you would just be afk farming but i'm already able to hit level eight we completely blow out that team fight with that lucario we are able to secure the dreadnought as well and now we are insanely fed level nine already not even six minutes on the clock, man. We're able to score as well. And I am almost about to get my Unite move. And again, it's not even six. I mean, it's not even below six minutes. Still more than six minutes left for this game. Usually, like sometimes. I mean, doesn't happen too often to me because I tend to farm pretty well. Uh, whenever I realize I'm behind, I tend to just stay back, farm the Odinos. Um, to just get that get back into the game right but i see a lot of people who don't pay attention to that and when they play the guard chomp or that uh, gardevoir as well both pokemon that need level 10 for the unite move sometimes they don't get it before level uh, before four minutes uh, 
uh, already rang on the clock so it is crazy but yeah as you can see we are the detective now and we're already going in now this was a huge failure let's be absolutely real I had like two unite move uh, instances onto the Mamo swine that was just um, I think it's called pillow swine that was just um, charging the you know just scoring so it's invulnerable of course so i ended up wasting my first unite move here unfortunately i mean we got one kill but it could have been definitely cleaner we could have 100 gotten both of those kills if i didn't underestimate the gengar that um gengar for some reason doing super well i will also in the upcoming video guys that i believe will be snorlax with razor claw <laughs> look forward to that one that one was crazy but yeah we also I had a Gengar on my team and it was absolutely insane and both of these Gengars going for the Hex and Sludge Bomb build so maybe I will try that let me know in the comments if you guys want me to try that but yeah Dragon Rush Dragon Claw we have the scope lens we have all the crits and as you can see man this Dragon Claw crits quite often and whenever it does crit it really deals a ton of damage man uh, see 627 popping up right there uh, onto that pillow um, Mammo Swine at this point. Uh, I, I'm, I'm so squishy though with this build. Just take a look at this. It just slaps me with the Wine Whip, man. And it's enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm opening the damage screen there. I'm like, what happened? I can't believe me. I can't believe it either. That was crazy. That was so much damage. Just, <laughs> you have to be careful. That's what I'm trying to say. That's what I was trying to prove there by rebinding. Uh, just be very careful if you run this build you will be very squishy you really want to farm until like level 12 until you have the upgraded dragon rush maybe even level 14 i know 14 is very that is you're, you're gonna be farming all game but if you hit level 14 if you have everything upgraded you will just deal so much damage it is absolutely ridiculous and yeah crazy crazy game right here already and again, I'm so glad I got this detective skin, man. Look at it. It's really nice, isn't it? The only thing that I'm missing is the hat on the Gibble and the Gabite. That would be amazing. We are able to get a pretty good Unai move, but the Venusaur uh, dashes away. But I go back in. Unfortunately, didn't crit, but then the crit on the basic attacks come out. This scope lens doesn't just scale with the dragon claw and dragon rush it also scales beautifully with your passive because you're basic attacking so often and you're bound to get some fat crits at that point and look at this damage man you see when the crits come out even with just the basic attack it just does so much damage man it's absolutely hilarious i definitely think this is worth trying but again maybe try it in a standard match if you were a very experienced garchomp player um, I mean, if you're not an experienced Garchomp player, I would only recommend you to play it, uh, play the Garchomp in a standard match anyway. It really isn't the strongest Pokemon and you really need to know how to get to that Garchomp level. You know, you really need to be good at playing just like I did in that laning phase as a Gibble. It's really, really not easy to be aggressive at the right times as a gibble but take a look man take a look at this little detective conan hiding in the bushes with his little cowboy hat chilling we're still chilling i'm waiting for the enemies to show up rabbit jumped over me i see three enemies on the map i go in we go for the score i am praying that my team won't lose this fight because honestly it might be better to be with them but hey this rabbit didn't even notice me just doing the red buff. I go onto him and we are able to kill him through that Unite move even. He used Unite move onto me, I didn't use mine. And we're still able to get that takedown. We score a couple more times. And again, I'm just hoping my team won't lose too hard. They did lose. They did lose the Zapdos. But I I was pretty sure we had, we had such a big lead that if I get these 100... We're going to be able to still win, even if they get Zapdos. Whereas if I go to the fight, even like even if I go there, they might get Zapdos, guys. So then it's really dangerous. But because I uh, pushed these 100 and I was able to defend there along with my teammate, we were able to stop the enemy from uh, scoring these 50. It is a pretty, pretty confirmed victory here. And again, we just we just deal a lot of damage. That's all I'm trying to say, man. We deal a lot of damage. It is so cool that some of these moves can crit. Again, Crustal, Stealth Rock, uh, um, X-Scissor, all of it can crit as well. But yeah, here, 
we use the Unite move, he is able to eject away, but at the end, we still, me and the Machamp, still get that killing blow again. And here I'm just waiting. I just wanna, I just wanna get some kills before the game ends. And we try to go onto the rabbit, but it kites me, man. And this time, I just didn't have the eject to follow up, so we end up dying. But again, it doesn't matter. The game is long over. There we go. I'm just gonna skip these last five seconds. Boom. Easy. Pretty. Um. Yeah. 400. Almost a 400 lead. Not too bad, man. We get the MVP, which you probably didn't expect, but that's what happens when you score a lot. I, of course, got that 100 score late game um, by myself, you know. No one else was able to score late game 100, so of course we're gonna get that, uh, that MVP. And the damage was not bad at all, though. As you might expect, it was not bad at all. 20k, uh, 20%. Not too bad, considering we had uh, some very good teammates as well. We had a jungle Machamp going crazy as well. So um, hitting lots of great Unite moves. So again, this build is pretty legit. The moves Dragon Claw and the Dragon Rush, especially Dragon Claw, compared to that Earthquake, is just a much weaker move. That's, that's the only reason why this build is a little bit eh, you know? It also leaves you squishy. But other than that, the damage is great. If they improve Dragon Claw somehow, maybe make it do a couple more hits or buff the damage a little bit, then this build will be absolutely legit and might even be the best Garchomp build. I would love to see that happen. The full Dragon type crit Garchomp is definitely my favorite variant of this Pokemon in this game. But yeah, hey, make sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell. Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!